I'm Kendra D. St. Aubin from Arizona Sports 620, and I'm here to tell you a little bit about an event that I went to on Friday night, Garth Brooks Teammates for Kids Foundation. Basically, a bunch of celebrities, a bunch of athletes getting together to raise some money for Phoenix Children's Hospital. Here's a look at who we ran into. Well, first, let's talk about your foundation. Obviously, you're teaming up with athletes. What made you want to do that specifically with athletes? Well, it was Bo Mitchell's idea a long time ago in the late 90s. He approached me and said, hey, look, let's take all these statistics from baseball, hockey, all these things and turn them into cash. And uh, so we just started. We started in baseball in 99, hockey in 2001, eventually got around to NFL in 2005 or 2006, and uh, now the NBA. Um, it doesn't matter, NASCAR, open wheel race, and professional golf, it doesn't matter. And these guys are all being very sweet. Even the PBRs jumped in on it now. So we got a bunch of bull riders in on it, and it's, it's fun, and it's raising a lot of money for kids. For us, it was more about meeting Garth and Tricia. We've known them for a number of years, and when you get to know them and you get to know their hearts, it's easy to get behind and support whatever they're doing. It's rare to find, find a foundation that 100% of the money you give goes to the kids, you know, and that's, you know, Garth's number one rule is, you know, not only does 100% of the money you give go to fa his foundation you know, and all to the kids, he'll triple the money that you give through private donations and, and donors and, um, you know, it was really a no-brainer for us. Did you catch the World Series and what were your thoughts on the San Francisco Giants winning? I mean, obviously a rival of ours, but, um, you know, they played well and, and they deserved it. They played so good in the playoffs, came from behind and, um, you know, really dominated in the World Series and so um, you know, hopefully Hopefully we can um, have a repeat what happened last time they won the World Series and come back and make the playoffs next year. I watched a little bit of it, but as soon as they got the final out, I turned the TV off. I didn't want to see them celebrate. It's, it disgusted me a little bit. So um, I, I just, yeah, that, that one stung a little bit. So we'll be, uh, they'll have the target on their back again next year. First of all, what is the deal with the lockout? When are we going to actually see? I'm from Minnesota originally. Really, we're in the middle. As, as coaches, management, we kind of sit in the middle like the fans. You know, we're not on either side. We just want to see hockey. And, uh, you know, I know both sides do too. It, it's one of those deals where it'll get done. It, it's, it's getting closer, I think. Um, you know, it's frustrating. The players right now obviously want to play. The owners want the game to go on, and they'll get a deal done. But uh, we've got our fingers crossed it'll happen here pretty soon. I'm sure you're familiar with the Kevin Cobb injury. Do you ever... Uh feel like your sternum was being pulled from your lungs and your ribs? <laughs> I felt like a lot of things, and I don't really know what was happening most of the time, but uh, I'm feeling really good right now, so I try not to think about that. Sorry, Kevin. <laughs> do you follow Biz Nasty on Twitter, and what do you think about his endeavors? No, I don't follow Biz Nasty on Twitter. Actually, I, he, he does come up on my Twitter because somehow I don't know how to get him off. <laughs> I want to be one of those guys that gets off. No, he's great. I mean, Biz is... Uh, you know, he's one of those characters in the game that is good for hockey, he's, he's good for the entertainment value, and he really is a generous guy. I mean, as much as he takes a lot of heat for his off-ice activity, he does a lot of charity work himself, and uh, he's done a great job. In this community, uh, we, we can use all the help by getting some guys like him out there and getting to know people. So there's a look at an amazing night that we had in the Scottsdale Quarter for Garth Brooks Charity Event. Not only do you get to see these athletes out on the field or on the court, but you also get to see some of the amazing things that they do in this community. I'm Kendra D. St. Aubin with Arizona Sports 620 on ArizonaSports.com.